Hello and welcome to a new series uh, on the channel and we're going to cover some audiobooks because anybody that knows me knows that I eat audiobooks for the lack of a better term like sweets so we're going to start off with something that's very close to home for me which is Blood Angels because that's my one of the armies that I collect in the hobby so we're going to look at the Herald of Sanguinius so this is a audio drama from Black Library surprise surprise and um, you can find it on Audible and you can find it on their main website both for 3 99 so for 20 minutes uh, for four pounds that's it's a good deal it's a good shout so what is this audio drama about this is about Sanguinius but specifically is told from the sp perspective of Commander Escalon, who's the leader of the Sanguinary Guard, and this is set during the time that Sanguinius has been appointed the Emperor of the Imperium Secundus. So from Escalon's point of view, he's been charged with uh, funneling the attendees that would stand before Sanguinius for whatever reason that they need to speak to him, and that's usually to you know, talk about you know where they should deploy, what's going to happen, trade agreements, etc., etc. So it's not all Space Marines; it's other denizens from uh, the Imperium as a whole. But during this this audio drama, it's you get to see other factions that want to speak to him for a number of reasons. There are there's an Iron Hands uh, character that's in there that I don't personally recognise, but other people that read Irish Heresy stuff might know. Lionel Johnson definitely wants to speak to his brother and is pushing the point to Commander Escalon that he needs to move out of the way, otherwise they're going to cause problems. Uh, and there's a good interaction between Escalon, who's affirmatively just a space marine, and Johnson, who's a Primarch. And the the inner turmoil from Escalon that's, do I let him pass or do I tell him no? Uh, what implications that that will have? And there's some interaction between, you know, Sanguinius and, and Escalon to do with some plot points that will become relevant towards the end of the audiobook. But I'm not going to give spoilers away because that's just a shame. And so it's something that's only 20 minutes long, it's not like there's like a big, a big punch apart from the, um, the ending so go watch it so why do you need to get this well for one it's blood angels that's it that's all you need <laughs> no i'm kidding it's 20 minutes long so you can get this done on a bus trip commuting to work on a break etc etc it's really really digestible the characters are great the voiceover is fantastic the plot is good you get more out of it if you know the broader IP as well, specifically if you know the broader information about Blood Angels and certain characters that remain redacted for the point of this video will give you some insight into how they came to prominence within the chapter. Go pick it up at Audible or from the Black Library website. Drop me a comment down below what you want to see in the future and what you thought of the Herald of Sanguinius. Now this is me signing off and I will see you in the next one. Peace.